Welcome to the demo session from learndatamodding.com. In this demo session, I'm going to explain something about normalization. So what is normalization? It's a design technique widely used in building relational databases. It's used for removing redundant data from the tables and by decomposing into smaller tables. So what is redundant data here? Let me show you the sample data where you can see the redundant data. When you see this uh, information about a clinic which contains doctor information, clinic information and as well as patient information, you can see Dr. Williams is repeated several times here. Dr. Weingard is also repeated several times here and this is what is called as redundant data. Now in the normalization principle, we have to remove this redundant data up to some level, but uh, controlled redundancy is possible and will be explained in detail in our training classes. Now, when you see this big table, according to normalization rules, we have to split this big table into smaller table and we'll be reaching a structure like this in 1NF and in 2NF, the structure will be like this and 3NF, the structure will be like this. Now, when you come to 3NF, again, if you want to join these tables, then we have to get the base data, which should be similar like this. And that is what is called as lossless data. Now, there are two goals in normalization. The first one is to minimize redundant data. And second one is ensure data dependencies make sense. What is the data dependency? Now, when you see the table, you have uh, information about the doctor. And this doctor information should be associated with this doctor table. Patient information should be associated with the patient table. And as well as clinic information should be associated with the clinic table. We cannot put the clinic table data into doctor table and doctor table into patient uh, data unnecessarily and that is what is called as dependency of the data now without normalization what happens a database system can be inaccurate slow and inefficient and they might not produce the data you expect there are different rules followed in normalization and the rules are first normal form second normal form third normal form bcnf and the fourth normal form now these are all rules and it is followed in the sequential order for example, if the data is in second normal form, it has to be in the first normal form. If the data is in third normal form, then it must be in the second normal form. And these are called as normalization rules. Now, let me go to the data and explain to you about the different anomalies present here. And that is what we'll be resolving in normalization. There are three types of anomalies. Insert anomaly, update anomaly, and as well as delete anomaly. Anomaly means problems now in this particular data what are the problems found the first one is the insert anomaly now i want to insert a record for a new doctor called kevin who doesn't have any patient in that situation i'll be entering only dr kevin's name here and the related information about the patient patient address will be left null null means i'll not be filling any details in these columns so that is a violation of the are the BMS concept. That is what is called as insert anomaly. Now, update anomaly. What is update anomaly? If you see this medical one, it is located in 45 Beverly Hills, San Jose. And you can see the same data is repeated for this Dr. Williams several times. Now, as in that this medical one has moved to a different location, say New Jersey. In that situation, what will happen? We have to update this record for all of these three records. Now, in this example, we do have only 12 records and it is easy to update the records. But in the real time, if you have millions of records, then what will happen? It will take longer time and you will not be able to put the data also quickly. And that is what is called as update anomaly. Then the third step is delete anomaly. What is delete anomaly? Now, assume that this Dr. Vainguard left Ohio Clinic Hospital and he has joined in some other clinic. In that situation, we have to remove this Dr. Wayne card from this clinic RDBMS database. If you remove this Dr. Wayne card, the associated information about the patient and as well as the clinic is also lost. And this is what is called as delete anomaly. Now, in normalization, we have to carefully analyze these problems. And finally, we have to come up with some conclusion. And that is what you see here in this data. This is source data we receive and from there we designed one enough. We split up into smaller tables and in two enough again we designed some tables and in three enough again we designed some tables. Now in this situation if you're going to delete doctor table this table will be lost. If you're going to delete records from this 
patient table, patient information will be lost, medicine administered, what are the medicines provided, that information will be lost, same thing with doctor also and that is how you do normalization. Now in our uh, data model training class or in the data model videos, we have a number of examples like order and then we talk about this clinic in a detailed manner, then we talk about the student and moreover we have uh, something related to rental agreement also. So the basic fundamental in data modeling is a data model has to learn the normalization and if you want to more if you want to know more please reach us at training at learndatamodeling.com thanks for now bye